Yo, what's good fam? Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use Save Wizard to make modded cars for GTA Online. So let's get it. Now to get us started, first of all, this video is not going to include the actual glitch to drop the cars online. That'll be in part two. We'll cover that by itself because that'll be totally separate from the save wizard steps. The save wizard video here will apply to this and any new DMO glitch. You'll make the cars and bring them to your PS4 the very same way. The only thing that'll change in the future will be whatever glitch you'll use to get the cars into online. So that's why we're making this two separate parts. Now you are going to need a couple things for this. Uh, you're going to need a USB flash drive to insert into your PS4 that we can transfer a save with. You're also going to need a PC or laptop and on the PC you want to have a save wizard, save editor and the modded save. All of which I'll link in the description. You can just go download them. Save wizard is the only one that's not free. You do have to pay for that service but it's well worth it because you can use it for thousands of games. It's not just for GTA. So. Once you have those things, uh, we'll go and hop right into this. Now to get started on this, the first thing we're going to do is take our USB, insert it into our PS4. We're going to go out to our dashboard, go up to settings, go to application save data management, select the save data and system storage. We're going to copy it to a USB. We're going to select Grand Theft Auto. Now we're looking for a normal save like this one here at the bottom. You may have multiple. Um, you just want to find one that has the percentage beside it. It'll have a name. Just make sure it doesn't say backup or like mission replay, auto save profile. We want just a normal save like this. Uh, it'll help to make note of like the date and time, the percentage. So if you have multiple saves that you're doing this with later at some point, you can keep track of which is which. So I'm just going to select this one here at the bottom. I'm going to press copy. We're going to select yes. Now it's just going to take the save from our PS4 and put it onto our USB. Once that's done copying, we can just back out of here and we can take our USB drive out of our PS4 and insert it into our PC and then we'll move over there to finish the rest of this. All right, so here we are over on the PC. I've got my USB drive in and I also have the three things downloaded that I'm gonna need. You're gonna need the save wizard, obviously. This is the only one that's not free, uh, but it's well worth it. You can use it for thousands of games. It's not just for GTA. Now this one's pretty self-explanatory. You download it. When you download it the first time and you open it up, you will have to create like a profile before to let you mod the save. So if like your little play button is grayed out and it's not letting you in, it's because you haven't set up a profile yet. Now save editor, same thing. You want to download this. When you go to find the file, just you know these will be in the description or you can just Google them. Uh, they're pretty easy to find. This is what the file will look like. You're gonna download this, run it. It'll install save editor. Now the first time you open this, what'll probably happen is it will say that you don't have the resource pack. It'll give you a prompt to click the link to download it if you want to do that. And you will have to, to run Save Editor. So this is what that'll look like, Resource Master. Once you've downloaded this, you can reopen Save Editor. Sometimes it'll give you the error again. Just click retry for it to find the files. If it doesn't manually find them, or if it doesn't automatically detect them, you can manually do it through browse and just click on them wherever you had them stored, whether it was your desktop or downloads. And then once you have that set up, the save editor should open and run for you. Now, obviously here, you're wanting the GTA 5 version. There are multiple versions that you can download of this uh, for multiple different Grand Theft Auto games and all kinds of games. So make sure you got the GTA 5 one. Now, you're also going to want the modded save. Like I said, it'll be linked in the description. You just need to download that. I don't recommend using the old modded saves. Uh, I would use this one. Now, once you have all three of these downloaded, we can go ahead and start making the cars. So we're going to go ahead and click on save editor. It's going to open up. This is normally where it would give you the error if you don't have the resource master. Now once this opens up, we can select Grand Theft Auto 5. We're going to select open file and we're going to grab that modded save that we downloaded. You see yours should be yours should be named the same exact thing here. You see it's the one from my desktop. So we're going to grab that, click open. Uh, you do want to make a backup. I already have one so I'm just going to click no. Now once you get in here, you're going to want to select Garage, and this is where we're going to be making all of the cars, is right here. Now you'll have your three story mode characters. 
I recommend starting at the top to make it simple because you can make nine cars for each character. So you can take 27 total online before you have to come back and make a new list of cars if you wanted more, you know, more variety of cars. So once you select Franklin, go ahead and drop down his garage. Now every character is laid out pretty much the same way. Michael doesn't have a bike, um, but you know, you can't use these two spaces. These are the only two you can't use. If you look at the top one, you've got your normal garage. You can drop four cars in there. You can throw one car in the hangar, one in the helipad, one in the marina, and then you can throw two in the impound. So you can take nine cars per character. I recommend starting right at the top so you don't lose track. And then we're going to select the first car here, This or our first slot, really, because we're going to change this car. Now, to select a different car, you can hit the little drop down here. This is going to be all of the GTA Online cars. Now, not all of these will work. Um, obviously, blacklisted vehicles will not work, but I do believe you can bring DLC vehicles with this version since you're using gift cards to friends to save the cars. So I do believe that'll work. You can bring the DLC vehicles, but if you're just curious on you know, a car that you maybe don't know if it'll work, just Google blacklisted GTA Online vehicles and you can find you know, a pretty good list that'll let you know what's blacklisted and what can be saved online. Because some of the blacklisted cars you can bring into a session but you can't save them, so there's really you know, no point unless you're just wanting to play around with it. So what, once we're in here, we're just going to scroll down and we're just going to find any car here. It doesn't really matter which one. Um, we're just going to use this for an example. So let's see. Uh, even though it doesn't matter, I can't make up my mind. But we'll grab uh, the Devastate. All right, it's going to ask if you want or if you have the DLC. If you're playing online, you obviously already have this, so you can just click Never Show Again. Now, the preview hasn't been working on mine. I guess they updated it because it is working now. You can even see the type of wheels over here. Um, although they did change the name of F1 wheels to race wheels. So if you, you can't find the F1 section, that's what you've been looking for. It's now labeled race. You see right there. So to start off with this, um, you can customize the outside of the vehicle on some of them. Some of them, it doesn't give you the option. If you see this little wrench icon, that means you can customize, you know, the aesthetics of the vehicle, uh, like the bumper, exhaust, you know, livery, stuff like that, spoiler. Um, so you can click the little wrench icon if you want to come in here and change any of this stuff before we start modding the car, and then you won't have to do it later online. It'll save you a little bit of time there. So the very first thing we can mod here is the plate, obviously. Now, if you'll come down here to the plate section, drop it down, these are the normal online plates. You want to select the North Yankton plate. And then this is where you're going to enter your plate number. Now, the way this works is there's eight spaces, I believe. All the spaces have to be filled. If you leave, like if you take one of these off, the plate's not going to work. It's not going to show up. All the spaces have to be filled. You can use hashtags to create an invisible space. These hashtags won't show up. So this plate would just say K2 is it. Um, if you don't, like I said, if you don't enter uh, all the characters and you have eight here, then it's not going to show up. Now you can do an you know, eight character long word if that's what you wanted. You just have to make sure that all of the spaces are filled. Like I said, if you're not wanting to use uh, that big of a word, you can just enter hashtags, whatever you know you want on the plate, and then fill it out with hashtags. And then that'll show up just as one right there, okay? So we're just going to throw this back like we had it here and then we'll throw a hashtag on in and then that'll that's what our plate will say k2 is it like I said the hashtags being visible make want to make sure it says North Yankton right here on the plate section so moving on to the color I do recommend I don't recommend using any of these because a lot of these are going to show up in online and it's not going to be a modded color. It's going to be selected. It'll be a scratched car. So I don't recommend using any of these pre-selected ones. The only one of these I would use that I know for certain is a modded color is this MP100. And that's hidden gold or the secret gold. So that's the only one I would recommend using from here. If you're wanting to change the color and you don't want secret gold, you want something else, just select custom color. And then you can click whichever one. It's going to give you the, uh, the same, you know, DLC warning again, so just don't worry about that. Now, what you do, drop down your color and then go to more colors, go to custom, and then you can input an RGB code right into here to get the exact color you want. If you want to know what colors are modded and which ones aren't, then you can simply Google, you know, modded color codes for GTA Online. You can find plenty of sites that have these color codes listed, and then you'll just enter that right here, and you'll know exactly what color you're getting. You'll know it'll be a non-selected color. 
So once you've got your color, just select OK. I'm just going to leave mine as secret gold right now. So if you're wanting to use these, you want to be sure this little custom color box is unticked. That way it'll use these colors. So I'm just going to use the secret gold, all right? Now moving along, the armor upgrade uh, breaks. Those are pretty self-explanatory, just like they are in the game. The horns, some of them will stick, some of them won't, okay? And I wasn't able to find a good list on which one of these horns stick and which of them don't. Now, some of these horns obviously are already in the game. Uh, some of them are, you know, hidden horns or like festive horns like Halloween that only come around at certain times. So if you want one of these and you want to know if it's online, the best way to do it is just test it. I recommend doing different ones on all your cars and then you can see which ones saved and which ones don't. Sometimes when you go to save the car, the horn just goes away and then you don't have it anymore. And if that's the case, then you can't obviously try to use that one. So the only really way to find out that is just to kind of play around with it and then see what you get. I do think the Halloween horns, because I know I have these on a few vehicles, I do believe these will stick. And I think the clown horn as well are just the ones I can remember off the top of my head. So select whatever horn you want there for the lights. You can do all the lights that you would have in the arena options menu. So, you know, you can change all the colors of the lights. You won't have to do that later at the arena. Or we're just going to throw, uh, that'll work, the yellow ones. All right, the plate, we've already been through that. North Yankton suspension, like I said, some of these are pretty self-explanatory. The windows, this is where you get your green tents. This will be an unselected window tent, the light green. If you get any of these, these will be selectable in-game, and that's not really what we're looking for here. So select light green. Now the neon layout, front, back, sides, like I said, pretty self-explanatory. Um, the color... The co all the colors don't really work for this. Like you can go to more colors and you can input, like I said, for the other one, a custom RGB color and you can select OK and it's going to change it once you get in the game. They don't really, the colors for these don't really stick like the paints do for some reason. So it doesn't really matter what you do there. Now the wheel type, like I said, the F1 has been changed to race. So if you're looking for the F1 wheels and you can't find them, the name's been changed here. Uh, you have the, the Benny's wheels as well. And it's pretty nice that this is working because uh, now we can just see them right here in the game and we don't have to go back and forth trying to figure out what will is what. If for some reason your um, you know previews aren't working, you can Google list of Benny wheels or F1 wheels and they got pictures of all of them and the names so that you know what you're getting. If for some reason your preview isn't working, I know mine hasn't worked sometimes in the past, so that's an easy way around that. So like I said, if you want Benny's wheels, you'll select one of these categories here. You'll find which one you want. If you want F1 wheels, you'll select the race category. That's what I'm going to go with here. I'm just going to do the stock tires. you got all the different kinds of tires. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you a preview of these, uh, but they're pretty self-explanatory. You know, this one would say Atomic, and it would be in blue and white. So select whatever tire you want there. Now for the front wheels, you can change also the type of wheel for the F1s as well. They've got um, all of them here. So you can just select whichever one you want. And we'll go with uh, this one right here. Uh, same for front and back. I don't think it'll let you stagger them. Uh, it may, but I'm pretty sure it'll put the same wheel both front and back for you. So we'll just select the same one there. Now you can do the same thing with wheel color if you want a modded wheel color. Um, like I said, I don't recommend using any of these unless it's the secret gold. Um, so uh, I do know that some of these, like some of these worn colors and some of the util colors, some of them are modded colors, but I can't remember which ones. So if you do want to use one of these for the wills, you'll just have to play around with it to figure out which ones are selectable in game and which ones are not. All right, once you have your wheels, you can also select, you know, a tire smoke. The Patriot tire smoke will be the one that changes colors. I don't recommend putting blue bulletproof tires on. Not a lot of people are looking for that when they're trading cars. Most people like them to be, you know, non-bulletproof tires for some reason. Now, we're done making that car. We've changed the aesthetics we wanted. You know, we've got our modded colors, our Yankton plates, green tints, and our wheels. Um, once you've done that car, you're going to want to repeat the same process for every car in every garage for each character so we do three more cars here you know we do one for the hangar helipad marina and two for the impound then we'd switch to michael and we'd repeat the same process start at his garage we do all the vehicles we wanted in that one every garage we'll do the same thing for trevor now once you've made all 27 vehicles the way you want to bring them online you're going to come over here and you're going to select save file 
gonna say, you know, save was saved successfully. We'll click OK, and then we can close out of this. We've created all the cars we want, and all of these cars are now on our modded save, all right? So we're just gonna exit out of this. Now we can open up Save Wizard. We're gonna accept here. It'll take it a minute to load up. And select OK. All right, now this is what I meant by your play button being grayed out. If you haven't made a profile yet, what will happen is this little button will be grayed out. When you try to double click it, it won't open like this. So if you're having that problem, you just need to create a profile. It's just because you haven't used it yet. So once you've got that done, you're going to double click the little drop down here. And we're going to right click on this and select advanced mode. Now, once Save Wizard opens, it should look something like this. We're going to look all the way over here to the right, and we're going to select Import File. Now, this is where we're going to grab the file that we just modded, this one right here. We're going to select that one. Now, if you got multiple monitors, for some reason, after you exit Save Editor, it'll throw this onto your main display. So if you're wondering where it went, that's probably where it's at. Now, just go down and select that one. Remember, the name should be exactly the same. We haven't changed the name on it going to select open. Now nothing's going to happen here. What we're going to do is just press zero on your keyboard. You're going to see this little flashing bar has moved over. That just kind of helps it confirm that we've made changes here. You're not going to see the dialog that says, you know, something was changed like you did before. I think they've updated this, but you'll use the same steps. You're just going to press zero on your keyboard once, and then we're going to click apply. We're going to select yes. It gives you a warning saying sometimes the saves don't work the first time, but I've never had that happen to me. So I'm not really sure what that's about. And then we'll just give this a minute here to rewrite our save with our modded cars on it. Now, as soon as it's done, you know, it'll say it was successfully applied. We'll just click OK. And then we can exit out of here. We're done with this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to eject our USB and we're going to take it back over to the PS4. Now, once we're back on our PS4, we've got our USB drive in. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to our dashboard. We're going to go over to settings. We're going to scroll down to application save data management. This time, we're going to select the save data on the USB storage device. We're going to copy it to system storage. We're going to select Grand Theft Auto. And then you should see the name of that same file that we downloaded earlier from the PS4. Okay, you're going to select that one. We're going to select copy. Select yes and then it's done it's successfully loaded our modded save into our story mode in gta online so what we can do from there is we can go ahead and launch gta to make sure we have the right save because if you do you'll be in a specific place in the game so go ahead and launch gta now once you load into gta you may not load onto your modded save you may load in just like this like on your old save or your auto save so what you want to do is you pause your game, go over to game, go to load game, and then see I loaded in on this auto save. So I'm going to load up the modded save. Now see this has the same name that we've seen in our dashboard from the save that we use. That's how we know we're selecting the right one because you may have a bunch of them here. That's why I said it's, it's a good idea to keep track of the name and the percentage of the save. So once you find it, just select it. We're going to select OK and then we'll give this just a minute to load us in. Now you'll know you've loaded in on the right save when you spawn in just like this as Trevor. Once you've done this, you're ready to start the glitch. If you load in somewhere else, like I said, you need to go to load game and you need to find the save that we use in Save Wizard. You need to load up that save so that you spawn in just like I did. And then from there, you're ready to do the glitch. Now we'll be putting up a second video that will you know, show you how to perform the actual glitch. Um, I haven't done it yet because I've been trying to find a bit more of a consistent method. It's really hit or miss. Like, it's pretty bad. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It can be frustrating to try to hit it because it really varies depending on your internet speed as to when you do some of the steps of, you know, limiting your bandwidth or reconnecting your internet, disconnecting, stuff like that. So 
the settings I use for my net cut may not be the same ones you'll use when you do the glitch. So uh, just keep that in mind. Like I said, I'll be posting that here shortly. Um, but from this one, you'll know how to use Save Wizard. And like I said, the Save Wizard steps will apply to any new DMO glitch that comes out for dropping cars. You know, you'll be using Save Wizard the same exact way. The only thing that'll change in the future is you know the glitch you perform after you have the modded save in your story mode so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did drop me a like don't forget to comment share and subscribe or do whatever you want and then i'll see you guys in the next video later